Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm, <clears throat> take two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel, we have Psalms 103, 12. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. So just remember, keep looking forward. What's done is done. And today's a new day. Start it with a smile. And as I say, be grateful you woke up. Yay. So, yep. All right. So, all right, I've got two off the hook. The first is, and you, this is not a shocker, I had it all but the handle done. So, I have an end to weave in. Okay, but I have my bag, and I have stuffed this thing full of yarn, just because I want to see how much it would hold, and I'm trying to decide on a new project, and I have lots of yarn that I can use. Yeah, lots of yarn. So, I'm going to try and start using some of it up. At one time, I didn't have a whole lot of extra yarn. I just had what I needed for a project and got rid of the rest. Trying to get back to that. Somewhere in the last couple of years, things have just gone. I used to just work on one project, just have whatever yarn I needed for that project, and that was it. I didn't have extra stash, and I didn't have... All that, I, yeah, somewhere in the last couple of years, things have gone awry. So, um, also, another off the hook, I have the uh, blanket, the log cabin, Ta -da. and it is big, it's bigger, it's more like a lap throw, it's a little bit, it's very square, so it's the length of a lap row, but it's also that width. So, yeah, but I like it because it just goes over my legs. It's nice and warm. I'm good with it. Um, this is from the Harbor, Hearth and Harbor um, kit that I got for my birthday. I do have two ends to weave in. And, yeah, I did seven rows each one. And then as I started the second one, I just did until the yarn ran out. No big pattern there, huh? So, I finished those two things. I still have the weavy one. Oh, blurred. Sorry. I still have the weavy ones that, um, the little sweater I was working on. And I still have the blanket to stitch the edge to and tie off and all that. Uh, I will probably be working to get those done. Um, I don't know. At this point, I don't really need to start anything else. I did think I was going to do a prayer shawl. But I haven't. So. I literally only have that weavy one to start it. So, well, in the blanket. So. But anyway, so this week I am really late. This is going to be kind of super short. But I want to show you that I got those two things done. Um, I had a lot going on at work. And I had a lot going on just personally. Uh, let's see, um, oh man, so RJ's been riding horses, doing his thing, um, we had a friend who is a gentleman that went to school with my daughter, and I substitute taught him, his mom was teaching at school, uh, yeah, he was 36 years old and passed away of a major heart attack. So, um, yeah, that happened this week. Um, I, I just can't, I can't fathom what his mom is going through. You know, you're not supposed to outlive your kids, but, uh, anyway, so, um, if you remember from the farm, uh, it's Slack's dad. Slack was, I babysat him for a couple of years. Mom was, having trouble and dad was having trouble and they split up for a while and then they back together and then split up anyway. Um, yeah, it was little man's dad. I have a picture of RJ and Slack standing looking out. It's a back picture of the silhouette, um, looking out into the pasture. And then I've got a picture of him 
admiring a rodeo sign. I took him to the rodeo one day. And so anyway, it's his dad and it was a rough blow. It is a rough. Blow. So anyway, not going to go there. Um, so that happened then at work. Um, I finally got up the nerve to go and talk to the lady about loan processing. I had applied for one job in human resources just to see where I fit in. I didn't want to do that job. I, I really, I just didn't. And so I decided to withdraw from that job. And then she had told me the lady that was interviewed, she says, you need to go talk to so-and-so because you've got more experience in that area. If that's what you love to do, that's who you need to talk to. Well, there was a bunch of, there was a digital fraud um, position that came open. There was another banker position that came open. Um, there were more positions coming open. And I thought, you know what, if I need experience, to get to the loan department because there was no loan jobs coming open, uh, loan assistance, loan processors, loan, you know. Um, and so are you coming? Come on. Come on. Okay. Apparently my lap is a place to be quick, quick, quick. Okay. Um, so there was no loan processing jobs, but I thought in the long run, if I could get a job, a low worm, a low hitch, sit down. Uh, if there was a job that was going to help me get the loan process, processing jobs, what time you went to the bed? Uh, and hey, now you're hitting the camera. Stop. Um, if there was any jobs that were going to, I'm having my hands full this morning. <laughs> if there was any jobs that, that were going to help me get to the loan processing job, I wanted to apply for that. If not, I would be perfectly happy doing what I'm doing. I love my job. So I sent an email. Well, Monday we had our uh, meeting and I had said that I was going to go and talk to her. And that was on the 20th of February. And I didn't, I chickened out because I heard her over say that her husband had a wreck that morning. And you and I both know that just tears at my heart. I hate all right, the stuff with our day, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I didn't talk to her. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to send an email. And I explained the situation to her. I said, I wanted to talk to you face to face. This is a conversation that's better face to face. But I heard you, your husband had a wreck. I hope he's okay, blah, blah, blah. And I told her that I had experience in the loan. I really was interested in moving up and I need to know if there's any um, jobs that would help me get there. She calls me the next afternoon. Um, the first that she responds to it, she goes, I'm in the middle of something right now, but I want to talk to you. That's all it said. I said, okay. So the next day she calls me and she says, what are you doing right now? And I said, well, not a whole lot. I mean, it's kind of slow down here. And she goes, can you come up and talk to me? Now she's on the fourth floor and I'm on the first floor. So I said, well, let me um, talk with my boss and make sure she's not going to miss me for a minute. And I said, let me get with her. I said, she said, okay. So I went in there and I was like, Hey, you know, can I run up real quick and see Tina? She's can Jonathan cover for you. And I said, yeah, he's got it. And uh, so I go upstairs and as it turns out, there might be a position becoming available. Now, I don't know whether that means someone is no longer going to be with the bank or if um, they're making a new position because the fraud, the digital fraud position was new. They made it. Um, the digital banker position that has been implemented is a new one that they've made. Will you stop? He's breaking my hand. Um, so anyway... I talked to her. I sent the email on Wednesday. She called me to come up Thursday. Friday, I talked to her and told her my experience and blah, blah, blah. And she said there might be one coming open and that her and the vice president of the bank had actually talked and said they didn't want to train somebody with quit. Let me talk and quit. Um, they didn't want to train somebody who didn't have loan experience. Um, there are different systems and platforms 
forms in place. Mortgage does not talk to, um, and loans don't talk to, say, your bank accounts. Um, I know a lot of people have the same bank that have, in that case, you can call someone and get it, but the two systems don't integrate. It just never has been that way. Um, it used to be that credit bureaus, mortgage credit bureau, and your retail credit bureau didn't integrate. Now I think that's changed, but I'm not sure. Um, anyway, so Friday I get an email saying this job has been posted and you need to apply. And it was the opening that was coming available. Well, I wasn't prepared. I whipped something up, was trying to answer the phones and do my job in between. And I sent it and then I found some grammatical errors. So I've reprinted it in case I get an interview. Um, so yeah, all of that went on last week. Then uh, this weekend I had uh, lunch with a girlfriend and then I came back and I sewed a little bit. I've got some sewing in there. And uh, Monday morning, this little guy went to the vet and just had his nails trimmed and his anal glands done. Oh, and that was yesterday. And I had to have him at the vet at seven, so I didn't have time to podcast. And then yesterday I had a DMM meeting, which is our monthly meeting at work. And I have to go in early for that. So, today is Wednesday, and needless to say, um, I am running late. It is almost time for me to get ready to go to work, and these guys are very much being a pain this morning. Um, Saturday, they were on a rampage. I mean, I couldn't get Hitch had his rope and was going crazy. I had him outside. I had him inside. They just would not calm down. There was not enough coffee on the planet to help me deal with these two. They were just like teenagers on a rampage. I mean, they were playing. They were having a good time. But, yeah. Kind of like right now when he's biting my hand. So, anyway. Um, I do have a little bit of sewing that I did get to. I'm just going to finish up. I do have a little bit of sewing that I did. Um, this weekend and I'll probably post that but again it's going to run late because this one's running late so therefore the second sewing one is running late. Um, I'm still working on the weavy little sweater. I may start a prayer shawl. Don't know. Just know that I got these two done. Don't have a clue where I'm going from there. It, it seems like that way. Now they're starting to play again. Um, it seems like my life has been that way. I have no idea where I'm going until I get there. And it's like, oh, well, I could have taken a direct path, but this will work. So it is what it is. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you're up to date now on this uh, crochet. I will do a little sewing one. It will probably be just a short little nippet too. But uh, this week has been crazy. So you guys have a great day. And thanks for watching.